Hi everyone and welcome to the Scrap and Create channel. It's Christine here with a short video tutorial for you and this will be the last video tutorial in my Stamperia Wonderland mini album series and in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how I made this fun little pop-up mechanism that's here in the front inside cover of the book. So it just looks like a little card here and you open it up and you have this cute little pop-up mechanism that opens up. So I'm going to show you how to make this today. It is very easy to do. It's from my card making days. So I've known how to do this for a very long time. Um, and it's really easy to do even though it looks a little bit complicated. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a rough template of one today. I'm not gonna decorate it because I'm out of paper from doing the whole tutorial for the Wonderland um, mini album, but I will show you how to do it. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna take a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, and with the eight and a half on at the top, you wanna cut it in half. So what you're left with is a piece of cardstock that is four and a half, I'm sorry, four and a quarter by 11 inches. Okay, you then want to score that at five and a half. And this creates what we call, and if you're familiar with card making at all, an A2 size card, which simply means it's four and a quarter by five and a half uh, uh, inch card. And this one is top folding. Okay, so it opens like this. All right, so this is your first piece. Now you wanna go ahead and decorate this piece before we put the pop-up mechanisms in. You don't have to do that, but it does make things a little bit easier, a little bit easier to stick things down when you don't have that big pop-up mechanism in the middle. So all I did was I just cut a couple pieces of some pink cardstock, and we're just gonna layer these quickly so I can just show you, just to demonstrate how this all comes together. So these pieces of, um, cardstock are just a quarter of an inch smaller than the um, total size of the folded card. So they are uh, four by five and a quarter. Just pretend in the that you know these are design paper if you like. Um, but I just wanted to kind of just quickly demonstrate here. All right and I'm just using art glitter glue uh, to, t to go ahead and adhere these down. Um, you can get your art glitter glue, of course, at scrapandcreate.com. It is the, in my opinion, and I've used a lot of glue over the years, and it's the best on the market, and it will hold this pop-up mechanism completely for you. I am, in my demonstration, and we'll get there in a minute, but in my demonstration, I'm going to use some score tape just because it's quicker, but I used this glue on my original project, and uh, it holds up. It'll attach anything. This glue even attaches your metal embellishments. Uh, it's it's really awesome. I don't think a lot of people know that, but yeah, all of my metal embellishments I attach with art glitter glue as well. Okay, so this is just a normal card. If you know anything about card making at all, this is what we call, like I said, an A2 size card base. If you don't know anything about card making, that's totally fine. All you need to know are the measurements. So this piece is four and a quarter by 11. I scored it at five and a half right down the middle. And then I've just done some decorating on the top and in the inside front and back. I mean, top and bottom rather, I'm sorry. The back you can leave alone because that's what's going to adhere to our book, okay? Ours is gonna open like this. You could also open it like this if you want. So you'll just want to plan that ahead of time. You'll also want to plan your closure ahead of time before you put the design paper down. I chose in my original to do a little ribbon closure, which I'll show you quickly. So um, as you can see, here's my little ribbon closure. So you would want to think that through ahead of time and uh, adhere that ribbon before you put down your design paper if that's the type of closure you want to make. But again, I'm just showing you the pop-up mechanism. Really, that's the focus of this video, but I did just want to point that out. Okay, so after you have gotten your, um, your front and insides decorated, what you want to do next is take another piece of cardstock that matches the color of the base of this card, so in this case white, and you want to cut it to three by eight. Okay, so you want to cut this piece, this is, this is the piece that is cut three by eight. You want to then score it in the middle with the long side up against your scoreboard. So let me show you what that looks like. So 
see you put the long you put the long side up against the top of your scoreboard and you want to score right in the middle which since it's eight inches across would be at four inches you then want to turn it a half a quarter of a turn to the right now your short side is up at the top of your uh, scoreboard and you want to score at an inch and a half okay now the next thing that you want to do you can go ahead and set your scoreboard away from, uh, down for a minute is you want to take a ruler and you want to measure in from each of the four corners Okay, and you want to measure in two and a half inches and draw a little tick mark. So I'm doing it there. I'm going to come down and I'm going to do it here. Okay, and then I'm going to do it on the other side as well. So two and a half in. And you can see I've already done it, but I'm just re showing you um, so it makes sense what I'm doing here. Two and a half. Now, what you want to do is take your scoreboard. Or if you have a uh, paper cutter with a score tool attached to it, that will work too. And these tick marks that you have marked here, two and a half inches in from each side, you want to score an X. All right. So let me just show you what that's going to look like. So just in your in your um, on your scoreboard, or if you're using a paper trimmer, you just line those two little tick marks up, and you take your scoring tool and and score it. Okay, and then you do the same thing in the other direction. So you just have both of those tick marks right in the little track there that that um, that scoring mechanism is gonna gonna cross, and then boom, and it will create an X, and that X will intersect right here with the two score lines that we did initially. Okay, so this is what you have. All right, the next part is let me just check my notes i always make notes so <laughs> just to make sure that i um you know have everything ready to go for you guys the next thing you want to do is burnish on all of your score lines so first you just fold in the middle right and then you fold the other way in the middle and then we have this x to deal with so you're going to fold on each x okay so this x is going to look like this fold and burnish and then this X is gonna look like this, fold and burnish. So now everything is folded and burnish. The next thing that you wanna do is you want to bring the long score lines towards each other. Like, okay, so turn your paper, in other words, turn your paper this way so that the short end is at the top and bottom of your workspace. And you have this little triangle in the middle, right? You want these, this triangle to meet up and form, I'm sorry, you actually want, okay, I'm, ignore what I just said for a second, I'm sorry, this part is a little tricky and is no matter how many times I do this, I always do it wrong the first time. Hold your, have your paper so that it actually, the reverse, the long side is at the top and bottom. And what you want to do is you simply want to fold so that these two triangles meet in the top and bottom and back of your paper. So let me do that again. So this is what it looks like, okay? Your long side is at the top and bottom, your short sides are on your right and left. You just simply push the paper in the middle and you want to fold on this triangle here. So, uh, so see how we have these two coming in and connecting? And you wanna do the same thing on the back. Can you guys see that? So now we have this is what it should look like. Okay. Now what you want to do, set this aside for just a moment and bring your card base over. You want to grab your ruler and you want to find the center of the card base. So you want to measure in. We know that this, the, um, the length of the card this way, this, the, the width of the card rather is four and a quarter. So two and an eighth is going to be right in the center. Don't measure in from your design paper, measure in from that white card, uh, base there, measure in two and an eighth, and draw a little pencil mark right below the score line of your card of the inside of your card. And that is where you're going to want to, this is the mechanism from which the pop-up will be attached. Okay. So we want it centered on the inside of this card. So we have these two triangles now, as you can see on the front and on the back. Okay, and then these two little legs, 
all right? So what you wanna do is coat the entire, you're gonna set this down, okay? Line it up with that pencil mark there so that it's nice and centered in the middle of your card. And then you would put your glue or whatever adhesive you're using along this entire triangle here, okay? To make it go quick, I'm just going to use uh, one little piece of score tape. You're, you're gonna wanna use more than that if you're using score tape. Uh, as I stated at the beginning of this video, I used um, art glitter glue in the original. Uh, I just love it and it holds up very well. But you have to hold it down and get it to stick, which takes a little bit of time. So for the purposes of the video, I just want something really quick so I'm just gonna use that one little piece of score tape. If you decide to use score tape, you wanna cover the whole thing with score tape, okay? I'm just not gonna do that to save time. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna close the lid to the card base, like so. Just close that lid there. And then go ahead and burnish and get that triangle stuck. And then when you open it, it's gonna look like this, okay? All right, so opens up like that. Now what we want to do is go ahead and do the same thing to the back panel here. Okay? So I'm just going to grab again just some just one little piece of score tape just to move this along here. And then we'll do the same thing and we'll close it. And now when we open it, boom, there's our, there's our little pop-up mechanism. Okay. All right. Now we have one more piece of cardstock that we need to cut. And that is going to be what creates this, these four little kind of squares that pop up. All right. So to create these four little squares, what you want to do is you want to cut a piece of cardstock again the same color that matches what you've been working with in my case it's white okay and you want to cut it at three and three quarters by 11 inches now what you want to do then is you're going to put it go ahead and put it in your scoreboard okay and you want to score with the long side the 11 inch side up at the top you want to score at two and a half I'm sorry, two and three quarter. Wait a minute. Did I mess up? Let's see, just a second here. Yes, this is correct. Okay, sorry about that. Two and three quarters from each end. So I'm just going to flip it and do two and three quarters on each end. Now I'll just flip the entire mechanism completely upside down and score right in half at five and a half. Okay, and then it simply folds and creates a W. Do you guys see that there? It creates this little W. Okay, now this would be a great time if you wanted to, to go ahead and decorate the four little panels. These little panels, the way that I cut them is my little pieces that go on top of this uh, measure um, two and a half by three and a half. Okay. You could certainly adjust them based on how you want your borders of cardstock showing to look. That's what I chose to do. And it's a little easier to do it when before you connect this to the mecha, to the actual card, but you don't have to. It's doable without it. I've done it both ways before. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and bring your card base back over. Okay, so we are bringing our card base back over. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take your um, little W that you've created, okay, and fold it so that the W closes. And then hold it just with your fingers at the top of your card, uh, at the inside top portion of your card, okay? So just kind of hold it there with your fingers. And then you would want to apply some glue to this quadrant of this panel from about an inch of the way in and cover this little quadrant here, okay? Does that make sense? 
So I'm going to grab score tape just to make it go quicker. But if you would like, you can absolutely use glue. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of score tape and I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. So I'm about, like I said, about an inch of the way in and I am going to tear the backing off. Then you're just going to slowly close You slowly close and let that adhesive hit that flip out with the four little squares okay now we've got to open this up here and now what we want to do is we have to finish it by placing the bottom down here. so because we want it to open up like this right let's just simplify this for a minute we want this to open up like this when we close it, right? So that means we also need adhesive. We have adhesive right here in the top right corner. We need adhesive down here as well on the bottom left corner, okay? So I'm just gonna grab score tape again. Again, in my original, I did use glue. I'm gonna come about an inch from the edge and tear off the backing. Now, I'm not gonna adhere this right this minute. What I'm going to do first is actually close the card. Now once I have it closed, as you can see I've got it nice and closed, I'm going to go ahead and stick it down. So now when it opens up, boom. Do you guys see that? Does that make sense? And again, remember, you can open this up. You can place this in your book this way or this way. I chose this way for this particular design, but you can do either way that you like and it just folds effortlessly and you have this cute little pop-up mechanism and it's so much fun. It's just a little interactive element that you can add to your books. You can put photos on here, you can put journaling, you can put cut aparts, so whatever you want to do. And then it just closes down so nicely. It's so easy to do. So this was actually the front. <laughs> so this is the back where I would attach it to my book. And then in my case, it opens like this. But again, you can open it like this if you prefer. So that's it, guys. It is really that simple. One more point. If you want to make it like I did for this book here, um, what I did is when I adhered it to the book, I left, I only did score tape. And I did use score tape because this is kind of a bulky mechanism, right? So you don't want to just use some regular adhesive. You definitely wanna use the art glitter glue or score tape on this. I used some score tape and I just went around the sides and then uh, and then I put strips till about halfway down and, and the rest of the way, leaving a gap here with no adhesive. And that let me put this little cut apart back here as a little tuck spot. So if you wanna do that, you can, or you can just adhere the entirety of your pop-up mechanism to the inside front cover, whatever you would like to do. And then of course, I still have this shallow pocket here so I can put um, lots of photo mats in the front there if I want to. So this is what it looks like all nice and decorated here. Very cute, very fun, very pretty and as you can see it just looks gorgeous with the design paper that comes with this collection. So um, again if you're going to do journaling it would probably be easier to do it before adhering this mechanism to the to the card but you could do it you could you could you can do it i mean i could see that i'm i have this in front of me and i could definitely write on this right now if i needed to so it's definitely possible to have it decorated and then go ahead and journal later of course it would be even easier to just go ahead and hear photos and then maybe put your journaling somewhere else but that's entirely up to you so then it just closes down like this and then i chose a little tie a little ribbon here to tie this closed you could use a magnet if you wanted a ribbon or any other closure that you like or just just leave it just you know whatever you would like to do is totally uh, appropriate okay so i'm going to go ahead and close up my album here and that is all done. And finally, just one more time, here it is. And again, it can open in either direction. So we can go this way or this way, either way. This is the way um, that I did not choose to do for the book, but that would be lovely. If you had a, a big page, you could just stick this on and have it open. And then sideways, of course, is the way that I chose for 
the Wonderland album. Okay, so that's it. I hope that that makes sense. Um, this is something that I've done so many times before that hopefully I've explained it well. I sometimes feel like I don't explain things as well as I should. So if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer them for you. I hope that you have fun making this. I just think it's really awesome and just a fun little way to bring some card making and some pop upping to your um, mini albums. So thanks so much again, guys, for stopping by. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye-bye.